good, y'all? It's your boy Jay Brock. Let's clap it up, LA. You know what I'm saying? I'm right here with the homie Alexis Roden, formerly known as Brown Boy Mosh. He is a singer, a songwriter. I mean, he is an all around artist out of Arizona. He has millions upon millions of streams on Spotify. Be sure to tune in to his most streamed song, Chico with Wiz Khalifa and Cap G. And also tune in to Until the Day with T Pain. And a huge shout out to Bootleg Kev and Ready Set the Label. And oh, yeah, he has performed at multiple Phoenix Suns halftime shows. I mean, we in LA, so we probably don't care, but that's a big thing anyway. So you know. Oh, he's doing it big. How you doing today, bro? I'm good, man. How about you? Hey, you know what? I don't, if you don't care, I, look, a halftime show at an NBA game, I mean, that's a big deal. Yeah, you know I, 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 yeah I really don't be talking sports out here a lot because I feel everybody, every time they find out, find out I'm like a sun <laughs> fan. The thing is, you have to put some respect on their name. Yeah, Why? Yeah, yeah. Because didn't they make it to the NBA finals last year? Yeah. Okay, so you yes, gotta sir. put some respect on we it. Gonna, we gonna win it all this year. We gonna win it all this year. Okay, well he said that on Clap It Up LA. If they don't win it, I'm gonna play yeah, this clip. I, I, got, I, got, I got a G on it. Anyone oh, that, anyone that wanna top in, you feel me? All right, we're making bets then. He got a whole G ball on this. Last, you know what I'm last, yeah, last year, uh, me and FIFA bet 500. 500. Uh, on uh, the first round of the Lakers and the Suns in and the playoff. And I won that, you feel oh, me? Oh, well, see, well, that's a good dub then. I don't know if he's gonna do it again this year, but we're gonna see, though. You know what I'm saying? I'm we, down to run it back, you though. You know what I'm saying? But the Lakers, I mean, you know, I haven't even been tuning in like that because I shouldn't. feel like it's, you shouldn't. it's kind of bad. Bo bro. Booty juice. <laughs> <laughs> the booty juice. Wait, don't, wait, don't do that. Don't do that. Um, but so we, we got to talk about this in the, in the beginning of life, okay? You were born in San Jose, and by the age of six, you were singing Backstreet Boys in Walmart Outways. Now, shout out to the Backstreet Boys. Was you singing that, uh, uh, what's that song? Uh, uh, Backstreet Boys for life. Uh, I think I, I think it's Backstreet. <laughs> okay, hey, look, I mess up all for you. Isn't that? I don't know. <laughs> but now, yeah, bro. I mean, I don't think I was like specifically singing that song, just that song. But my mom would just tell me like she remembers me like at Walmart when I was a kid, just running down the aisle singing, and that was like the one that was memorable to her and shit. Yeah, see that's yeah. see that's crazy because Backstreet Boys was really going crazy yeah. back then. Yeah. So to be influenced by the like was that you don't even remember because you were. Six years old, huh? Nah, I don't remember shit. Yeah, well, it's it's all good though yeah. because you know what? We're gonna double back on all this stuff and hopefully it yeah. make it's gonna make it's gonna make some sense. So you actually say that you learned how to sing by yeah. singing different genres. If you don't know, he is a huge friend, fan of country music, and I know he probably doesn't look like it. How you know that? Is. That's crazy. I mean, look, I, hey, bro, look, hey, it's it's called homework, baby. We got to clap it up, LA. So uh, by singing different genres like country, rock, and Spanish music. Um, how did you actually understand? Like, what did you learn if this was an actual tool to help you, uh, like, tone in on your skills? Well, really, I, I, I mean, I don't know. Really, uh, I just would, like, just sing shit or, like, just copy them and shit. Like, like I, I always thought it was cool how Tory Lanez would, like, make his voice low or high, like, you know, like, high shit. Like, I always thought it was funny when the white boys would be like, you don't know how much I enjoy. <laughs> but then I thought it was cool when Tory would be like, baby, won't you come my way? Yeah, like, yeah. that shit was cool. And like I always just would do that shit like fucking around, just mimicking yeah. people, trying to sound like people. Yeah. And I remember just being broke, like in high school and had no money like mm -hmm. at all. So I went in front of Ross, bro, mm -hmm. and just started singing for money. And that's how it all started. Are you serious? Yeah, bro, I was making like 50, 60 bucks an hour. And all I would do was just buy Taco Bell and weed with that. <laughs> like, wait, wait, wait. Okay, so why did you, what made, because it takes a particular heart to stand in front of any store. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Because typically anybody who was trying to hustle in front of a store, tip, they kind of look crazy. Yeah, yeah. So but I, I look like a little, like, I look like a little, little innocent ass kid though. Mm -hmm. Like, for this before, like, face tats, I was skinny as fuck. I low-key look malnourished, ain't gonna lie. You <laughs> feel me? <laughs> so, like, it kind of helped my, like, me and my, like it kind of helped me and shit, but yeah, it was it was cool. Like I I, I really never gave a fuck. You feel me? Like I still was well dressed. I I just went, put a little bucket. I had my little guitar and I did it. I wasn't like begging. I wasn't nothing. And people just walking and oh here here you go. But then I remember going in front of like a, a Ralph Lauren outlet. Yeah. No money. So I was like, <laughs> yeah, Ralph Lauren yeah. kind of uppity. You know what I mean? Really? I, I went to Ross. I was like, I gotta yeah. stick with Ross. I gotta yeah. stick with people. Like, be like, okay, but you know. That that is crazy, and I, I commend you for that because I feel like it takes a huge heart for somebody to yeah. even not care. Because I would be embarrassed, you know. Like I, yeah. I shoot. I, I was just trying to get weed, man. I, I, <laughs> I, I was just trying to smoke. The weed is the motivation. Straight like that, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Standing in front of Ross. Now, 
in second and third grade, you said you barely knew English. So you yeah, consider yeah. yourself Mexican as fuck. Yeah. So s explain how, how did you, because you know English clearly. Mm -hmm. So when did English become something that you would find easier to speak? Well, I, I would say like, you know, just starting to go to school, like second and third grade, I, I started really just going to school like the whole time and just, people sp spoke English and I didn't know what the fuck was going on. Mm -hmm. And then um, like fourth, fifth grade, like I would listen to the radio a lot. Like I myself would go out of my way to like, I'm not gonna front on you. I remember like waiting for my my dad to leave like leave the crib at like 6 a.m. and I'd wake up and hop on his computer. This is AOL days. Just AOL. Like, boom, yeah. I'm on there. Just I'm literally going through like the like just hella music. Like I just remember just like all all kinds of shit. Like it was it was the coolest shit to me. Like just yeah. and it was just all English shit. Cause all I know is like cumbias and corridos and. Look like banda type of shit, you feel me? Man, the the and accent now, is perfect. <laughs> <laughs> it's flawless, you know what I'm saying? You dig? <laughs> now, now, okay, when you think about computers back in those days, yeah. when you compare them to today, yeah. how amazed are you of the technology that we have today? I fucking love it, bro. We, have, we got virtual reality now. Bro. I don't, I don't have an Oculus yet, but I fucking want one. What is an Oculus? It's those fucking little, like, headset shits that you're in there, like, metaphor. Oh, you talking about the VR? Yeah. Oh, okay, like, okay, okay, it's crazy. Okay, okay, like, I mean, that's a computer now, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. it's just crazy. We got iPads, our fucking phones are a fucking computer. Like back then, you had to dial up and shit. Bro, and see, my Crazy. thing is, I, I can't imagine a childhood without this stuff. You yeah. know, because back, our parents had to go to the liquor store to play Pac Man and, and stuff like that. Like, yeah, I, I could not imagine that, yeah. bro. With the And shout out to the colored MacBooks. The ones that had the orange, the purple, and the. And I didn't even know it was colored MacBooks. You didn't what the know? Fuck? What, 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 uh, what was it? A, a PC. Oh, okay. And, and, and the schools, all we had was the fat back. Oh, yeah, I remember the, the fat back. Yeah, the that's fat what backs. we had. The yeah. fat backs, bro. The, the fat back TV. Hey, hey, yeah. Yeah. hey I, I'm not going front. My parents. Shout out to them. Like, we had the biggest fat back TV of all time, <laughs> bitch, dog. Yeah. That bitch was, she, that shit was the size of me, bro. Like, what? big. So I remember we always just had, like, we had, like, a little apartment. It was me, my brother, sister, and my mom and pops. And the fucking TV took up the whole living room. But, wow. Shout out that shit. Yeah, shout out to that because you had a movie theater. You didn't have to go yeah, nowhere. Bro, yeah, bro. <laughs> yeah. I was, I was addicted. Wrestling all day. Oh, my goodness. Wrestling. Who was your favorite wrestler? Uh, back then, it's probably, I loved Chris Benoit. I liked Eddie Guerrero. I liked Paul London. Paul London was cool. Mm -hmm. Paul London was super slept on. He didn't get the chance because he got fired, but you know, oh, shit man. like that. See, now I didn't really get into WWE as much. Uh, I didn't get into a lot of stuff as much. Like, I, like you know, uh, Dragon Ball Z. I oh, couldn't yeah, yeah, get yeah. into that. And, no, and you couldn't. I, Bro, I could, that shit was let me tell you something, bro. I, I was fat ass nerd, bro. I, was like, I like, love that shit. Well, we know a part part of the inspiration for your name was Majin Buu. Yeah. Right? <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, we got to give a shout out to that. But I remember one time I went and told my mom, yeah. I said, Mom, this cartoon will not go off. I don't know what I thought she could do, but I was just like, Mom, do something like this. I hate hey, this cartoon. Hey, that shit was just on repeat and shit? Yeah, bro, it, because they were playing for hours upon. I was like, You should have just tapped in. She, bro, just, she just went with it. That was, that was God or something. I she could, giving you a I sign. Try, like, I, I tried to get this shit. I tried to get into Pokemon. I couldn't. I got right. cards. I, I, yeah, I didn't fuck with Pokemon that much you either. You didn't fuck with Pokemon cards? Nah, I like Yu-Gi-Oh, though. Yu-Gi-Oh was okay, my so shit. I had Yu-Gi-Oh. What's the difference between Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, and Dragon Ball Z? If you could break that. I mean, so Dragon Ball Z, no cards are involved. It's just these fucking characters that just have powers and do this there's krillin there's vegeta which are clones there's it's just motherfuckers as badass as fuck that would probably kick kick any marvel character's ass mm. like you can't tell me anyone's gonna kick kick goku's ass i'm oh, gonna you kick gonna, vegeta's ass you bro. gonna cause some problems saying they're gonna kick the marvel character you know bro, hey, <laughs> no one of those motherfuckers <laughs> fucking with goku bro not one of them wow. none of them bro that's crazy. and then pokemon pokemon was little motherfucking mard you had fucking blastoise big ass motherfuckers mewtwo hypnochamp like normal motherfuckers yeah. so it's just motherfuckers you captured with a ball and they were pretty much like your pet that you had motherfuckers Fight. You just captured with a ball. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I mean, you had to like, fuck, like, make sure they were fucked up first, so they could like, pretty much what was submit, I guess. Oh wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. So you gotta beat them into submission. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Oh. And then, cause if now you throw the ball, they might get in the ball, but they could fucking break off the ball. Yeah, yeah. Loosen. And then Yu-Gi-Oh was cards. So pretty much you lay the cards down, and then the character comes up, and they fight and shit. See, that's wild. That, I, see, I never, I never understood that to the day. Really? Today is the, this is the uh, first time. I, I couldn't know. get into yeah, it, you bro. You my life. I, in high school, I ain't going front. I was the motherfucker that low-key was, like, my homies, like, after we got done smoking and shit, 
they were like, they'd go home or like, let's go play 2K. I'm like, ah, I'm going to go to McDonald's first. I'm going to get a McDonald's. I'm going to get a McGangbang. You feel yeah. me? Just live out the McGangbang. And really, I was meeting up other homies that we were about to play Yu Gi Oh! McDonald's. Hey, you and the out there. Hell yeah, I was so fun about it. Bro, it was just lit. I don't know. It's just the enthusiasm about it, too. Like, I, I really. I really fuck with the fact that like people were like so like careless and like oh I summon blue eyes sky dragon fucking blood like motherfuckers yelling yeah, at McDonald's and shit. I you feel me? Yeah, like, but I just I couldn't I couldn't. And then just it, right? getting attacked and shit like you're not really getting attacked, but you get attacked by a car. You're like oh no, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> like, I, remember, like, voices. like I remember just looking and I'm like oh, this motherfucker really just hit me with 800 points and I only have 600 left. Oh, fuck! <laughs> like, I remember just like trembling like no. Oh my goodness! Shout yeah, out bro. to them days. Those were some good days for the for people. I'm still down. Yeah. Anyone that want to play Yu-Gi-Oh or some hey, shit, you hey, can, get at can definitely run that face. Get at him. He want to. He want to play some Yu-Gi-Oh. Now, by the sixth grade, you moved to Arizona, right? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. What that's was, back and forth. Yeah. Okay, yeah, back and forth, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what was the cha- What was the differences that you would notice between San Jose and Arizona? Uh, honestly, I I could like not like I wasn't like scared of anything. Mm-hmm. Like I just remember like my mom telling me like, uh, and then we had buses that like took you to school. Mm-hmm. You feel me? And it was a grid system. Like, it was cool. Like, everything there is just a just grid. And all the way from 300th Ave to 300th Street, you got Glendale, Peoria, Cactus. Like, just, you just knew. If you say, oh, meet me at 75th in Glendale, you just know, go to 75th and go to Glendale. Boom. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I heard you say that. I've heard you say that before. And you made me think to myself, it must be way more simple because. Oh, it is. But freeways really out there is easy. Out here in LA or in San Jose, too. Like, you just randomly, like, streets is just like, yeah, it's fast. like you're dancing and shit. Like, we don't know where the <laughs> fuck you're going, bro. Like, <laughs> fast, for real. Fast, fast. But yeah, it's, it's just. I would I wouldn't want to say less dangerous because anywhere yeah. is dangerous, but like yeah. my mom just didn't have any worries there. Like she's like, oh yeah, you can be at the park, but be, like in San Jose or some shit. Like make sure you're here at this time mm. when you're on the bus. Don't talk to nobody, mm. you know, because we had to run a public bus to even get to school. Mm-hmm. Like motherfuckers, like yo yo, you bang, blah blah blah, which I thought was stupid because because like, yeah, because in my head I'm like, bro, I'm in third fourth grade. Why are you asking me this? Like, mm. yeah. but then again, I was like, oh, it's just dumbass fools like that are like damn near my age thinking they're cool or some shit. Like, mm-hmm. it's just. It's just more like, you know, shit like that. It I don't know. It's just more chill. Yeah, like, uniforms like in school and shit. Yeah. And AZ, I, don't, I could wear whatever the fuck I wanted. Wow. Yeah. That's crazy. Now, um, speaking of AZ, I remember, I can't remember, the day we met, we met at uh, Rosecrans uh, Live. Yeah, Shout bro, the, brown, the, the, the brown, brown Back yeah. Podcast Live. Yeah. And I was sauced up. I can't get back. I can't remember. I went to Arizona because I went to Arizona State with my little brother because he, he goes there now. Mm-hmm. So we just went to a football game and things like that. And they played your song out there. Oh yeah! But I you, you sent me a video. Yeah, you yeah. Me a video. I, was like, I was like, bro, they played your song out here. This was you. Like that's crazy. <laughs> so it, it, it was crazy to go out there and hear your song and then meet you next without knowing it. Yeah. And I'm like, what the hell? Like that this was crazy. Here? That was crazy in the mug. And then you from Arizona, yeah. so it makes the, it makes even yeah, much yeah, more sense that they would do that. So dope. shout out to AZ for that. Now one of the things you spoke about is you used to hate the name Alexis growing up. Yeah. I can relate because yeah. I used to hate my name. And you also spoke about that was kind of one of the reasons why you named your, your, yourself Brown Boy Maj as well, because you didn't think that you'd be where you are. Yeah, yeah. Um, now, my problem was specifically was I thought that my name was weak, you know, and I, I went and told my mom. I said, Mom, I don't like my name. My name why is you weak. Why you name me this shit? Bro, and what she told me, she was like, you make your name. She called me the N-word. She said, you make your name. What you mean you don't like your name? What are you talking about? Such and such, right? So that kind of helped me understand yeah, yeah. throughout the days. Now, you actually grew to like Alexis. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. what are some of the things that changed for you to help you gain the confidence to just go well, with that name? Well, really, I'm like, I mean, I never really grown to like it. I mean, like, growing up in school, we had, like, a substance. Like, the first day of school, the teacher obviously say, Alexis. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, fuck, like, that's me. <laughs> and then everybody would be like, oh, you got a girl's name, ha ha, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, fuck you. Really? Yeah, yeah bro, like, it was just weird. Like, it's stupid. I mean, we were little kids, you know? Yeah, yeah, for sure, for and sure. And then high school came along, and... Same shit. And then a few people laughed here and there, you know, mm-hmm. but, oh, yeah, you okay. know, but, but still I was like, oh, fuck. And, but everyone just knew to call me Alex, you feel yeah, me? Yeah. And then uh, we'd have a substitute teacher yeah. and they didn't know. So they'd say Alexis and then Everybody's people would forget and be like, yeah. what the fuck? Your name's Alexis? I'm like, I thought we went through this. Bro, that is crazy. Yeah. As kids, like when I look back at the things we did as kids, I'm like, we were on so much bull crap. Yeah. You know, like, the, like I remember. But I could only imagine growing up now, bro, the shit you got to like oh, tiptoe yeah. around. Like back then though, like I think about it like, ah, ha, ha, my name's like Alexis. Who cares? Like now though, like. 
I feel you can't laugh at shit. Mm-mm. You feel Mm-mm. me? So it's just hella scary. Yeah, because because everything is cancel culture. Yeah, yeah. Everything is a, a, a million and six thousand times more sensitive Stupid. today. Do you like? Do you ever? Are you ever irritated about some of the things that people are sensitive to now? I mean, yes, but I don't give a fuck. Like I, I like that, if, yeah. like. I personally don't care, like, mm-hmm. especially when I'm drunk or whatever, like, I don't care if I make you mad, I'm going to say what I want to say. Mm-hmm. Now, there's times where I'm like, I shouldn't say this, and I'm not going to say it, mm-hmm. but, like, if it's, what if I feel like you shouldn't get mad about this shit, mm-hmm. I'm going to fucking say it. How many times do you feel like you, you've actually went on ahead and said it and, and pissed somebody off? All the time. All the time. Every, all the time. Yeah. I, I feel, I don't know, unless I'm tripping, but, uh, yeah. I was, like all the time. I was about to ask, but I was like, every, like every 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 ten thirty minutes, I gotta fucking be like, uh, uh or I, I want to say some shit. Like, I'm the type of person where like I'll get mad, I'll go on my Instagram story and I'll tag you, like mm-hmm. fuck you, like I don't like you type shit. So like, okay, so what's I'm very trigger? like, you what's know? your what is, what is a trigger for you? Everything, everything, bro. Like not everything, but I, I wouldn't say like, uh, I guess I'm starting to finally realize that I'm very like, I want what I want, I like what I like, like I'm very, I'm, I don't want to say I'm selfish. But like I'm starting to realize like I like my shit. Like there's times where I have to realize like like on the way here, like you feel me? Uh, <laughs> like you know, just I got like like uh, Jay over there was like she was on her phone, but she was like it was something simple, and I don't know why in my head like like me like the cars were already moving. Yeah. You feel me? And then I'm like I want to be like yo go yeah. go. Oh and yeah, I'm, no, that's you the know? Race, yeah, yeah, but you know, but then I'm like I'm like why are you gonna say nothing? It's not that big. She's just looking at a song. She's gonna look up and she's just gonna go. Yeah. And I really had to like contain myself though for saying <laughs> that shit. But then but then five minutes later I said some like little shit and I was like oh okay well, what, what are you yeah, doing? What are yeah, you doing? Well yeah you know what that happens a lot too. We yeah. often say things that we just want to take back and then all by that time yeah. the damage is already. Oh done. yeah, and I hate cussing. You hate cussing. I fucking hate when people cuss, bro. Oh, but you can cuss all yeah, day. Yeah, all day. It doesn't matter. <laughs> how do you Wait, how does that work? Though? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I just hate, like, like if you just say, like, ah, oh, fucking blah, blah. I'm like, bro. Now, now, now okay, now, do, do we consider that double standard? Yeah, definitely. And you fine with that? Yeah, that's cool. Okay, see, as long as he can but There's double standards all, all around. I yes, feel like so. women have double standards about yeah. men, men, yeah. like, what whatever. Think, what do you think is the biggest double standard for, for women? Uh, like, as in what they think about us or what we think of them? Uh, what we think of them. I think the whole sleeping shit is whack. Like, the how, like, you know, a girl is considered a whore. Like, but then again, I also feel like they are a whore if you sleep with a lot of people. But then again, a, a, a guy can be a whore too, but it sucks that it's, it, it looks less bad. It is, it's better you know? for us. You know, but. I mean, it's, 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 it's I feel that's a, the biggest, like, double standard. Now, is it okay to think that? No. But do I feel like that? Still, yeah, I don't care. Like, okay, so here's, 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 here's the question. Yeah. Do you. How, What's a body limit for you? If you was to marry a woman, what's the body limit for you? How many people you slept with before me? One. That's that's enough for me. Oh, that's yeah. See, men most of the time want that. They only yeah. want one. Was, I'm like, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, shout out to that. I feel that. Now, in high school, um, a heartbreak would fuel a lot of your music and often uh, cause you to pick up the hand doggy dog. You know what I'm saying? I didn't bring none for him today. You're good. It's, good. It's, it's best I don't. It's best, okay. It's okay. best okay. I don't drink. So don't have a hand doggy yeah, yeah, dog. So I'm doing what's healthy. Yeah. It's healthy for him. He's getting better health on Clap It Up LA. Let's yeah. get it. Healthy's so, boring. What? I, I mean, no. <laughs> no you're good, you're good. Get in the done. long run, it's pretty good. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Now I gotta talk about this song. Uh, I think it's a sad boy freestyle. You got sad, down. Saddie freestyle. Sa- so sorry. No, Saddie freestyle. Mm-hmm. You got down on the piano. Okay. I'm not really playing the piano. Oh man. I love you, bro. A lot, of, a lot of people think that shit too. And yeah. sometimes, depending if I fuck with you or if yeah. I know I won't see you again <laughs> or something, like sometimes I'm like, oh, I'm not gonna see this person. I'm like. Yeah, man, I can't believe I made that shit. I was so drunk, blah, blah. Like, I'll say some stupid shit, like, just egging it on, and then sometimes I'll be like, I was just kidding, it wasn't. Wow. But, like, if I fuck with you or, like, I know, like, what's <laughs> up, I'll be, like, I'll be like, bro, that wasn't me, dude. Okay, so so how do you, okay, so somebody else just played it, and you pretty just much just had to move your, move yeah, your, yeah, they, your finger. Yeah, yeah, it was actually weird, too, because I was actually sober doing that shit. Mm-hmm. And like, uh, like doing that shit, I, I was like, "Fuck, channel your inner Ray Charles." No, nah. channel, channel it. Like, like, you feel me? Like, did you actually close your eyes, though. I did it. Okay. I, I thought I'd be disrespectful if I did. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Don't do that. Yeah, yeah. You don't, you don't want to do that. Now, when uh, did a lot of people kind of like approach you? Like, man, I need you to do the piano. Or somebody, some people come at you like that about that? No, no, not at all. I would say like uh, actually quite like not. 
I mean, just to do piano, I would say nah. Like, mm-hmm. as in, like, me play piano? Mm-hmm. Nah, not at all. Okay. Actually, mm-hmm. like, a lot of people don't even ever want me, like, when I get in the studio with them, mm-hmm. want me to, like, avoid that type of shit that I do. They oh, want me to cold. do, like, more hype shit or turn shit. Like, yeah. like you feel me? Like, I got a homie, you feel me? Shout out my boy Daily, but it kind of annoys me sometimes because when we work, he's like, when you do some player shit. Yeah. I'm like, why ain't a player for uh, <laughs> I don't know. Shit, bro. I, don't know. <laughs> I mean, well. <laughs> I, I think it's just a zone everybody yeah, 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 is yeah, able yeah. to tap into. Yeah. And it seems like today it's about player music. You know what I'm saying? It's that smooth. Yeah, I, I guess so. So that's kind of what it is. That's why I like country music. Yeah, yeah. Well, country music, you can be however the hell you want to be. Mm-hmm. Well, okay. Is there any like playerism in country music that people may not know about? Uh, not to my knowledge. I would like, nah. I would say Luke Combs is very like. Nah, just it's either like a love song or it's about like just getting drunk or just getting mm-hmm. over some shit. Morgan, Morgan Wallen, same thing or like a story. Mm-hmm. But like I would never say like none of them talk about like I got bitches and like this, this, that. Mm-hmm. Like to my knowledge from what I listen to. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, because you know, um, I think Old Town Road kind of hipped us to cut that country sound. And it was it was it was different, you know what I'm saying? So man, and now you you know I know what's going on now, but that song was still a hit. Song. I feel like I gotta I need to send you like a playlist of country music. Oh yeah, you, you know, know, I'm, I'm yeah, not Because yeah, the first thing you think about country is Old Town Road. I'm like, in my head, I'm like, <laughs> fine. Yeah, I'm thinking the way you looked at me. You know, for real. That's that's the first thing I can think about. Now in 2016, you would make a song about being broke, a uh, broke boy, which yeah. actually would do 10,000 views in one day, and it is currently sitting at 28,000 views so yeah. if you want to see how far Alexis has came Man, that's sure all that's the first song I ever did like, that's crazy that came out 2016, five, five years ago on YouTube so when you made Broke Boy how happy were you with the outcome of things did you even care about the numbers nah not really I really never like I guess I would say like uh it's like nowadays like for instance I have like a song with like like a million, I, I can make a million plays in a week, mm-hmm. right, or two weeks, and like I still don't think anything of it. Mm-hmm. But then I see other other people that I know that I know makes music, and I'm like, damn, they don't even got a thousand, and it's been out for six months. Like yeah. then it then it hits me, but I never think of it like, oh wow, I got a million. Like to right. me, I'm like, I don't give a fuck. Like yeah. I don't got a million in my bank account though. Yeah, <laughs> like facts, like facts, that's what facts, I care facts. about. Yeah, but, I understand. Yeah. That. So back then, that. I guess those those numbers though, like seeing that I dropped that song, not giving a fuck, mm-hmm. and. Uh, it just made me like, oh shit, 10,000 people like heard this shit and I didn't even really promote it. All I did was put it one time mm-hmm. and like people were sharing it like that. Like, oh, okay, let, let me just shoot a music video. Why right. not? And yeah. shoot the music video and that shit that got like, without no promotion, no money behind it, like 26,000 views. Like mm-hmm. to me, like, ne- like was huge. yeah, my first song ever, like me not being an artist, me not anything. So that was your first song? Yeah, yeah, yeah that was my first song. Like wow, fucking man, 10, like, just, views. it don't happen like that for everybody. That's yeah, it's, ca- it's kind of crazy. But yeah. also I would say like, it was the honesty of the song too, because mm-hmm. the, the way the song came about was my homies would talk about like getting money, yeah, yeah, ice, ice on my wrist, da, 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 da. and I'm like, bro, you and me both here, bro. We're yeah. struggling to get an age together. Right. Like, right. what the fuck? Like, what are you talking about? Like, All right, like yeah. Yeah, yeah, so but, but, but you know, it, you pride yourself on being vulnerable in your music. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And. I was just talking to Kali Shashadi about that, like, vulnerability is what makes you relatable. Yeah. Vulnerability is what helps the next person who is a fan of you yeah. understand, like, if they want to be that, mm-hmm. I can do it because Alexis did. Yeah. So, priding yourself on being vulnerable in your music, have you ever been embarrassed to share any of your struggles? Uh, I would say yes and no. I mean, I don't really know what, like, I know there's some things I'm definitely embarrassed of. Mm-hmm. But like as of right now, like I really just don't give a fuck. Yeah. Like I feel like I'm at a point in my life now where I'm like, I like the age I'm at to accomplish all the shit I've done at this age. Sure, I'm not fucking. I wasn't where Drake was at my age. I wasn't where fucking J. Cole was. At my, and I think maybe I was. Who knows? I don't How know. are you? I'm 26. Okay, you're 26. Yeah. I, I don't know, but yeah. I'm just like to say I have a song with Wiz. T Pain, I fucking have done the Suns halftime show. Yeah. To fucking, I opened up for Pink Sweats, Maja Jordan, like. Yeah. I fucking do this, done, done that. Like, I'm pretty happy to say I've done that shit for my age. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, like, 26. You've done some big. Yeah, I, I know. I know people that are like 30, damn near 39, and yeah. barely have scratched the surface to where Man, I'm at. Man, and you can see the devil, the levels of grind people yeah. are at. And it's like, bro, woo! When you think about how far you came. Yeah. Now, 
you had a job at Carl's Jr. You were working with your guy, Markel. Markel, you still currently work with. Shout out to him. Um, and Markel would actually do a freestyle for Kev. Now, you had a supervisor at, at Carl's Jr. that actually knew who Kev was, but I guess he yeah, didn't yeah. kind of think that. Yeah, they actually, yeah, they, they went to high school, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, me and Markel didn't work together at Carl's Jr. We went, oh, to, high yeah. school. We went to high school together. Okay, okay, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, but we, we, you know, I would see him work, and we worked, like, musically. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah, uh, yeah, my supervisor actually, like, uh, like I remember, like when I first dropped that broke boy song, mm -hmm. I was like, "Yeah." He's like, "Oh, so what are you doing?" I was like, "Oh, I low key like spammed and DM'd it to everybody that's big out here." Mm -hmm. Like I uh, like like uh, he was like, "Oh, did you send a boot like him?" I said, "Yeah." He's like, "Yeah, he doesn't like that." <laughs> <laughs> that <laughs> is so cool. Like, he said, "You shouldn't do that." And I was like, <laughs> "Huh?" I was like, yeah. So it's funny too, cause like I remember like when Kev first reached out to me, just looking at the messages, and I could see my message on top of that. Like, yeah. hey man, what do you think of this? <laughs> like, so it's kind of funny. Like, he just with the tiny fingers. Yeah. And then yeah. I remember telling Kev about it. He's like, oh yeah, I remember Jose. Like I went to school with Jose. Blah blah blah. He has hella kids. I was like, that's him. Yeah. He does have hella kids. That's like, crazy. And so when he told you he doesn't, I, I mean, I kind of understand that because yeah. sometimes you hear about a lot of people like, don't send me your music. Yeah. Like, it, I don't... Yeah. It's hella weird. A lot of people send me music to like show him you know what i mean or how do you like, feel about that i mean i think it's like just hit him up why are you hitting me up i'm not why am i gonna i don't like I, if you ask me I'll, i'm actually a nice guy i'll fucking listen to it yeah. i'll tell you if i like it or i don't but okay yeah. if you listen to 10 songs how many don't you like I mean, if all ten are whack, I don't like any of them. Like, I don't know. It depends. <laughs> I'm just saying, good typically, or not. typically how it goes. Well, typically how. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I don't haven't really listened to anyone's music lately. Like that, they haven't. Maybe people have sent me shit, but I haven't been looking for it. Like I kind of have been avoiding my message requests lately. Yeah, well, I understand that because I mean they come by the boatload if you <laughs> yeah. up here like that, bro. Especially when you do the things uh, that you're doing. So I gotta read this caption. Um, oh, and shout out, uh, Bootleg Kev would actually say your name wrong when he shouted you out on the, uh, on, uh, the radio that time. Bre what do you call you? Brown Boy Mage. Oh, yeah, he said Brown Boy. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the first, so, like, the, the first time ever, like, he didn't even know me yet. Yeah. Like, the, like, he was, some, he, they, someone interviewed him, and that shit was, like, mind-blowing, too, to me, like, when that happened, because to, to Kev in Arizona, he's, like, the guy. Yeah. He's, like, pretty much, like, the, you know? Mm -hmm. So, uh. When they asked him, like, who do you think's next up in AZ, he said his names, and then he said, brown boy, this, he's like this Mexican kid out of Arizona, brown boy mage. And I was like, oh, this shit's lit. He didn't even know me. But then like, he realized, oh, it's brown boy mage. You feel yeah. me? But, and that's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. And shout out, shout out to that. Now, <clears throat> 2017, I'm going to say the life changes. Uh, you posted a video. You're working at Office Depot from 6 to 12. Then you would go to Lake Las Vegas as a chef. And you said you would drink on a job oh, yeah. to kind of get through time. Yeah, I was After work, my, be my best friend was fucking like a 45-year-old chubby Mexican man that what? barely spoke English. That was my best friend. I didn't, wow. I didn't have friends when I lived in Vegas. Like, wow. I, I low-key like, moved because all my friends were just not doing shit. Mm -hmm. So I was like, bro, I got to leave and just... Do it like if I'm by myself, if I'm isolated, I have no choice but to just focus. Work on, yeah, focus. Yeah. So, yeah, I actually worked. I woke. I would wake up at six, get there at seven, mm -hmm. and then from twelve to two, like would be the time I get off. It was, a lot of times it was like yeah. So there and then from there, go all the way to Lake Las Vegas, eat real quick, clock in. I wouldn't get off till like twelve, one, two in the morning. Mm -hmm. Usually it was one, two in the morning, and then fucking go home for like two hours work, probably get like two hours of sleep. It was crazy, it was a crazy time. So did you, okay, the whole time you work in these jobs, do you feel like I'm bigger than this? I feel like my purpose is more than this. Uh, yes and no, as a sense of like, I feel like I've always known I'm gonna do something with myself. Mm -hmm. Like I feel like I've always would be like, I'm like, uh, I know like, I just feel like every, like people just fuck with me. Like mm -hmm. in high school, like any I, I work at a job, anywhere I'd hang out with, I feel like I, like, I, like, I just, I'm just, I'm just, you know, I don't know if I'm funny, it, like stupid, I'm ignorant, some shit, like, I feel like you're going to remember me some way, somehow, or like, you know, I always felt that way about myself, and, uh, but I've never felt like anything was above me or below me or anything, like, I was like, this is just it, this is what I'm doing right now, like, it's what you got to do. Mm -hmm. Well, not that, not that anything, not, not to say it like that, not yeah, to say yeah, like yeah. anything is above or below you, but like, like, for example, me working a nine to five, I always feel like this ain't my purpose. This uh, is not my oh, okay, my purpose. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's kind of what I mean. Yeah, by that. yeah. Uh, still is the same thing as in. <laughs> oh my bad, I make things complicated. No, no, okay. it's okay, bro. But no, I would just feel like I feel like I never think. Uh, like back then, I just remember like uh, like this might be my life. Like mm. you know, like let let me but not. Are you okay with that? <sighs> yeah. I, I would say like I mean I, I mean me being me like br me being brown boy Maj I didn't fucking think I'd be in LA mm -hmm. I didn't fucking think I'd 
have a song with T-Pain, Wiz Khalifa. Like, never in my fucking life would I... I thought I was like, I'm just just this... I mean, let's be real, bro. Like, who who looks like me or, like, that's famous as fuck? Um, I think people are similar. Okay. Yeah, but, like, well, what? There's, like, in my opinion... But then this was before 6 9 which, still, I don't care about 6 9 6 9 But, no, no, but, like, just Mexican-wise. Okay. Like, there's no Mexican representation of music okay. in any genre, really, mm-hmm. that's English. Mm-hmm. And the NBA, not one Mexican dude... Give me one Mexican actor that's like Brad Pitt, Tom Cruise, like Denzel Washington. We don't have one. Mm-hmm. Like, you feel me? That's on, on the English side, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, I feel like it's... What about Trinos? Danny Trinos? But that's not Brad Pitt, bro. That's oh, not... Okay. That's not I mean, he's, he's, a, he's a great... I mean... Like, I don't know. Like, it's to me, it's like, bro, like, you got Tom Brady. White. Okay. You feel me? Okay. Go. Michael Jordan, though. Yeah. Not Mexican. Okay. You feel me? What? LeBron, not Mexican. Tom, okay. You know, it's back Tom Brady. Not Mexican. <laughs> fucking, you got all these goats. Tiger yeah. Woods, not Mexican. Like, yeah. I don't know one Mexican dude that's just like, that's one, like, that, you know? Like, Den Charles is cool, don't get me wrong, yeah. but he's not Denzel. Yeah. What? He, he's not, you know? And yeah. then maybe that's like, but to me, like, back then, so I never thought of it mm-hmm. as that. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't think, I never woke up like, oh, I could be like this guy. Uh, okay, you gotcha. see what I mean? Yeah, like, so, so it never, nobody to point yeah, to all you. I know is like, oh, I might just be a cook in a restaurant the rest of my life. And I'm okay with that. Mm. I might just have to have two jobs. But that's because I've seen my dad work three jobs. Mm-hmm. I've seen my uncles work three jobs. Like, that's just what I knew. Mm-hmm. So I was like, hey, this is it. I got a dream. Cool, you know? Oh, okay. And okay. I just okay. so got lucky. Like, okay. let's be well, real. Well, no, you got blessed. Yeah. Okay, okay, now, okay, like if, 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 if you felt like you were okay with that, then I'm what? I'm sipping this shit. What? Ain't nothing. Yeah. Like <laughs> 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 I'm going to sip it spit. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, he bought this one. But, okay. I, okay, I, I would like to say that your actions proved otherwise because you worked those jobs, but you can, you can rather you believed how far you were making the music or not, yeah. you still went home and worked on your yeah. music. Yeah, you know it's, yeah I, it's like to me, it's even still now like the feeling I make when I'm like I make music and like I really zone in, like I fucking love that shit. Mm-hmm. Like I feel like I'm making something dope. Like it's like my thoughts. Like to me, this is cool. Like oh shit, this is fire. Like mm-hmm. I made this. Like it's cool. Like I bet this is how people feel when they sculpt something or. Like, it's, it's, that's just the feeling I get to this day. It's still the same feeling. Like, that was my, the way I thought of it is, like, I have to work so I can pay to work, to be where I'm at and buy these things so that I can make that. That's how I saw it as, you know? Like, I got to do that to do this. But just so happens now, I don't fucking got to do anything. I just have to do that. Yeah, you got to just wake up and be you. And yeah. How much of your, how much of your, has your, like, drive or ambition changed since you've gotten to where you are? Uh... I wouldn't say it's changed. I feel it's still there, but I would say my priorities and my responsibilities are different. Mm-hmm. I would say, like, I don't go out anymore. And, like, I mean, I still have my days where I won't get home till 6, 7 in the morning mm-hmm. and I'll sleep all day. Mm-hmm. You know, I definitely have had a lot of those days recently, not gonna mm-hmm. lie. <laughs> but, but, like, but back then, like, I used to fucking, bro, I'd be in the studio from 11 to 5, 6 in the morning, like 11 a.m. to 5, 6 in the morning, just drinking fucking doing all kinds of shit, just having fun, making music, no worries in the world. But then that also would tear apart from like some of my personal shit or this or that. Like, mm. it, you know, now I have to find like a balance for myself. Yeah. I have to fucking really put time into other things, like yeah. all kinds of shit, really. Mm. So it's not really that my drive has went away. It's just my part, my priorities are different and mm. my responsibilities. Like, like we can elaborate on that because uh, people see you know, you having fun, like you got money, you're around all these cool people, you're doing all these cool things, right? But they don't understand that there is still a battle with you oh, yeah. that you have to go through in life. You feel yeah, me? Like, yeah, yeah. Some, uh, Drake said, uh, hard work only awards you more hard work. You feel me? Like, <laughs> that you know what I'm saying? Like, you get, you get <laughs> to a certain level. That's a, I never heard that bro, him say that. You, that's you, lit. It, that's real. It, it, he tweeted it. You, you get to a certain level, yeah. and then at the next level, you understand yeah. it. Like, I got to do more of this. Yeah. Because now it's required. Yeah. You know, more is required. So how many times have you, have you found yourself, like, tired from the work? Like, oh, I just want to stop. Like, I just want to go home. Uh... I mean, all the time, really. I mean, it's, it's just always there. I feel it's just always a decision. I mean, I can be, in my opinion, I can be in the studio for a week straight. I'll, I'll sleep there for two, three hours, go back at it. Like, I can do that easily. Like, I have done that. You feel me? Like, uh... Fuck, what was the question again? I don't know. I lost my try. What the man, fuck? Man, I didn't forgot the say? question, man. Sure. Or like, what'd you say? But, uh, wait, fuck. So, basically, what we were just talking about was... 
I forgot. You know, it's all good though. We straight. I, yeah, I, don't, I, don't, I don't get tired. <laughs> Tell the gates. <laughs> I don't get tired. You know, but that's what I learned about this industry. It's 24 hours. Yeah. There's no sleep time. You it's really not. Saying? And people are in the studio for days and days on end. Yeah. I can't wait till like I'm at a place where I can tell people like, hey guys, I would like to work from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. and that's it. After that, my phone's off. But no, these hours is crazy. <laughs> I'm like, hey, it ain't no <laughs> clock in and clock out. You on the clock for the rest of your life. No, for real. Mm-hmm. It sucks too because like I, I hate when people be like, oh, what are you doing or what it, like or what's your schedule for today? I don't fucking know. Mm. And I want to give a straight answer, but Ooh, I don't know. Talk dude. about that. I, be I, I don't know. Like I, be... I can go to the studio for two hours. I might just be there for ten minutes. But then I might have to go here. Like, I just don't know. You feel me? Man, bro, I be driving my fiance crazy, bro. It'd be so many, so many last minute things that just happen. Uh, like today, I went to get my hair cut. My barber was like, yeah, I need you on Sunday. We're doing a video shoot, such and such. I'm like, okay, well, that's something else, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> stuff is just, st- and then, like, mm-hmm. even when, when I interviewed Kelly, it was, Kelly, when can you interview? Uh, let's let's do it today. Today or bet. Let's do it. Like all in the same day. I yeah, gotta get yeah, somebody yeah. to watch my son. It just it happens like that. You yeah, gotta be yeah. able to go with it. That's yeah. Usually that's how I am too. Like I'm like, oh, let's just let's just get it done. Let's yeah, just facts. let's just keep going. Let's get it done because sometimes like certain, certain you, things, certain yeah. things we can plan out. Yeah. I prefer to plan it out, but but one thing like I yeah. noticed like what makes it so let's get it done right now yeah. is that you can miss an opportunity because of that. Exactly. That's and why I had to move. Like, yeah, that's why I had to move here. Like move okay. back. Because okay. I used to live here, yeah. and then the pandemic started, so I moved back to AZ. Yeah. But then, you know, so that kind of like fucked up my music shit a little bit because, bro, I dropped that song with uh, with Wiz and Cap G and my shit was it was it was bubbling. I was I was going up like all this, all that, like that shit was on like like Billboard Heat Seeker. Like, you feel me? Like my album was like number eight on like Billboard Heat Seeker shit. Like and then like on iTunes, I was I was like number two, number three. Like, yeah. And you also you also made Billboard at number 10. Uh, for your song, where's the song get? Um, there was a song that you were number ten. Oh, um, word! Shit, I didn't even know that. Yeah, you were number <laughs> ten. Uh, number ten for uh, uh, to, uh, to the moon. I hate you to the moon and back. Oh, that's the album. You were number. Oh, so the album. Yeah, yeah so that's what I was talking about. So okay. it was an eight. Oh my bad. I gave yeah. myself two yeah. spots. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So I mean, well, now, okay, now. I want to finish off with I want to finish off with Bootleg Kev. I want to finish off with the introduction of Bootleg Kev um, because okay, so cool guy, you guy. right, right. And so <laughs> you and so were you when you were in Vegas. Kev hit you. You yeah. were on Lincoln that day. You would actually meet Post Malone. You would move in with Kev. You would be in the studio with songwriter, singer, and music producer Pooh Bear, and um, cool. you would do more with Bootleg Kev within those few days than your entire life because you're yeah. still going to have on the show. Yeah, childhood. yeah. It was actually like like a like a month span or. Okay. So. Okay. Yeah, uh, okay. it maybe looked like a few days. It felt like a few days, honestly. It was so yeah. quick. Like I just remember him hitting me up, and I just remember like, like he wasn't my manager yet. We just target, target up, and then finally I was like, all right, let's link up. Linked up, cool, dope. Next thing you know, it was an AZ, the Post Malone shit. Mm-hmm. After that Post Malone shit, uh, he was like, yo, you want to go to Vegas mm-hmm. and to this Black Bear show? I didn't, I haven't even said that. I was like, yeah, let's go. And before I went to Vegas, he's like, yo, pack your shit. You're gonna stay with me for a few months. Wow. And I was like, talk about love. Bro. I was like, all right, cool. Yeah. And then in my head, I'm like, he has a whole ass family. Like, yeah. I'm, and like, me knowing his wife now and shit, I'm yeah. thinking to myself, like, damn, I wonder what she was thinking. Like, yeah. who's this fucking random dude yeah. you bring in? Yeah. But yeah, so then went to Vegas, came back, went, then showed up to LA. And mine, this is like, I just, honestly, my first time ever, like, being in LA, like, for more than like 30 minutes because I remember just always passing LA from San Jose to AZ Mm -hmm. so now this is like brand new to me like I'm like what the fuck like this shit's crazy like Mm -hmm. damn like literally like I was homeless three weeks ago like this is crazy what a life-changing moment yeah bro what's a memory that you have like back in those days with bootleg camp something that you never ever forget uh my favorite memory ever was uh I, uh, <laughs> so I went to Ty Dolla Sign's house okay. with Kev because he asked him to listen to his album, mm-hmm. and I went. What's crazy is this album by Ty is I don't know if he scrapped it, but it has never came out. Mm-hmm. And this is probably one of the best albums I've ever heard in my life. Mm-hmm. Like the features on there were crazy. Like I got blessed to hear this album in his in his crib. His crib was crazy. Mm-hmm. First of all, I'm kind of mad though. He made me t- like they made us take off our shoes. Been like, I had the dirtiest white socks of oh, all time. Yeah, you gotta wear like, socks. It was crusty. I'm pretty sure if I took them off, they would have stood up, bro. Like, that's how bad they <laughs> you were. You gotta bro. wear black socks, bro. You I, don't, I don't like black socks. What? I always gotta wear the white guys. I feel like the black socks, you can get away with everything. In the yeah, black socks. I don't know. I just don't like it. I, just, <laughs> oh, I don't know sure. what it is. I just, 
I just feel like every time I wear them, I feel like I'm going to work. Because I always had to wear black socks, I think, at work. You oh, feel me? wow. So, yeah. Or I'm dressing up. I don't know. Yeah. I just don't like it. Like, I just I just hate it. I hate black wow, socks. Bro, so I'll, 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 I'll do a gray. What? Okay, gray. I'll do like a gray. or like a, not black. Yeah, I'll do like a heather gray when I got to dress up and wear my fancy slides. Yeah. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> but, so you were all these millionaires with, with dirty white socks. Yeah, yeah. So they weren't there yet, per okay. se. But I remember going to this theater, listening to this album, cool. It's pretty much like pitch black in there. And we're listening to this shit. It's amazing. Someone comes and shakes our hand. I just see this figure shaking her hand because I can't see nothing. Mm -hmm. Shakes my hand, shakes Kev's hand, my homie at the time. I'm not going to say his name because fuck him. Um, Mm -hmm. But uh, so shakes her hand, cool. Lights turn on. It's fucking Usher. No. And I'm like, I'm looking at Kev. I'm looking at him like, (laughs) what the fuck? The guy. Yeah, yeah. And I'm not going to front. I I never felt like I've ever been starstruck in my life until then. But like, I actually, like, I couldn't speak Mm -hmm. because I just remember, like, uh, we went out to the living room, kitchen area, whatever, and we we're talking. And then they're talking about, bro, in my head, I'm like, I'm really talking to Usher right now about right, Breaking facts. Bad and Games of Thrones? Because we're talking about that. Yeah. And he's like, how do you feel about it? I'm, right. And like, he, the dare me looked at me, and I just remember like, uh, yeah, it's cool. It's <laughs> cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, yeah, hey, shout out to Breaking Bad. I, I, I like the show. I'm like, I'm like 75. 35. I'm trying to really watch it, but like, bro, you just gotta, you just gotta zone yeah. in. Maybe it's just me. I have a bad habit of like, but it's an AZ bro, I, could, I could finish six seasons in two days. Well, I, could do, I could do that with Snowfall. I, I've yeah. done that I just saw the, the the newest two episodes yeah. yesterday. Fire, man, fire. So when well, you would meet Usher that day, and y'all were talking about, and it's like, it's like he's a regular human. Bro, yeah, he right? was just talking to us like yeah. whatever. And obviously, like I've come to realize, like. If I'm somewhere like that, like I gotta act, like I, I gotta know, like bro, you're here for a reason. Mm-hmm. Like you, they, you're, they're not just gonna put a random person, bring them in. Like you know, I'm with Kev. I always forget that. The, the biggest thing that Kev ever told me, I remember, I was going to like a an industry event, and I saw Rex Life Raj, and I was like a big Rex Life Raj fan at the time. And I was like, bro, that's Rex Life Raj. What the fuck? Mm-hmm. And he's like, go say what's up. I was like, nah, that's weird. He's like, bro, you're at a you're at a industry party that has a list. Mm-hmm. You were on that list, mm-hmm. meaning wow. he don't know what you do, whatever, but you're supposed you to be here. And I was that. like. Whoa, ever since that, like, I was like, cool, I'm sliding in my slides <laughs> next time. <laughs> saying, Shit, I'm on the list. That is so funny. You know what? We skipped over. You would get an autographed uh, CD from Andrew Garcia. How is that? You got that lotion. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> now, my man's an Ardwire lotion. What the fuck? <laughs> man, so you would get this autographed CD, and shout out to Adrian Raphael. He was Raphael. Uh, Raphael. No, Raphael. Yeah, yeah. He was, he was another one of your influences. Yeah. Now, what is it like getting this autographed CD in the fifth grade, and what did that mean to you? I mean, I paid a hundred bucks for it, so it meant okay. I was a hundred bucks broke. Yeah. Uh, and I low-key used my mom's credit card. Shout Uh-oh. out to her. <laughs> I low-key, I'm not gonna lie, I low-key splurged. I like bought like a fucking two hundred dollar backpack. I bought hella clothes and like oh, man. I remember my mom like she knew, but she never brought it up to me, which was crazy. Yeah. But not that she did bring it up. I don't know. No wonder she sent me away. Anyways, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> she's fucking with you. But um, <laughs> yeah. So fucking. To me, Andrew Garcia was just dope. Like, he, like, I don't know. I, I don't know if it was his voice or what. Like, I've always liked, like, I don't know what to say. I just, like, I fucked with his voice. It was just unique. I thought it was cool. The way he played the guitar and shit, like, I, like, that was, like, I mean, I was still a kid, too. And to me, I was like, wow, I want to play the guitar like that. You know, like, this is, this is dope. And, uh, so I remember he started, like, this little, like, it wasn't a GoFundMe, but it was this page and you donated and depending on what you donated you got something out of it okay. and what i donated got the, the cd and the autograph oh. but like getting that shit like it was still dope because i was like oh fuck like this is cool as fuck like i got an autograph from someone i actually give a fuck like i yeah. honestly back then like the autograph was a big thing yeah exactly like i don't care if fucking like kevin garnett or steve nash could have signed some, some shit and i wouldn't have gave a fuck mm. but like to me andrew garcia was like mm-hmm the fucking shit like that's actually like one of my main influences and shit hopefully one day i can make a song with him Fact i've reached out a few times yeah. i mean that was like three years ago <laughs> you gotta try to get back uh, yeah to I got, i'm pretty sure i could if i wanted yeah. to but like, yeah. I, I feel like naturally it's just gonna happen yeah well shout out to that and shout out you know the times have definitely changed because back then it was all about autographs yeah. now today it's all about the picture if you ain't got a picture bro you know, dead ass mean that, nothing, that drink then? picture mean more more than like, like anything in the world you know <laughs> No, I don't. But I'm just saying. I just, oh, I just feel like that's always been something that I hear about. Like, okay. did you get the Drake? Because, like, uh, I, I fucking went to a party and shit. I went to Drake and Future's party in Miami mm-hmm. at Dave and Buster's, mm-hmm. and like, in my head, like, I, it was weird. But I felt this energy of people just trying to like, 
get that pick or something like I I, know. you feel me and then yeah. I, I don't know why but I just feel like a lot like a Drake picture like you got to get the Drake picture like because it's like you know nobody sees Drake yeah so if you somewhere with Drake then you doing something yeah. I mean, soft hands you know that man saying? has very soft hands oh let's see I wouldn't know I wouldn't know <laughs> see, lotion man and the funny thing is yeah, see bro I work out every day I, the soft hands are gone man I, I got the callus on my hands I guess I don't bro. do shit mine is like soft as yeah, when you start lifting weights and you scraping up against the metals bro it just it can't be, don't be the same. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, not a big, lo- I'm not a, not super big on lotion. You know, if you can see my knees. Good, it's good for you, man. Good I mean, but skin. if you see my knees, you would understand what I'm saying. My knees, years of being ashy. Uh, I'm telling I'm you I'm pretty right sure there. my legs mad ashy right now. Too, <laughs> so <you're gonna> <laughs> well, okay, at one point, um, you spoke about not being able to buy food, uh, being kicked out by your mom, and then you posted a picture at Goodwill. Oh, and yeah. you said where it all started. Yeah. So what was Goodwill for you, and, and how uh, clutch is Because you know Goodwill be having some good so, stuff. So that meant, like, a lot. It was, like, yeah. a lot of meanings, I guess, like, Number one, like, I, that's the only place I shopped at. You mm-hmm. feel me? Like, I would, like, try, like, in my head, I, was, I made sure I made it cool to every. Like, this is before thrifting was a thing, though, in mm-hmm. my opinion, you know? Like, that's all I shopped at. And also, I had a homie, uh, AZ Thread. Uh, he's, so he's, like, a big, like, reseller and sell shit, like, in AZ. Mm-hmm. But back then, he would sell shit out of his trunk. And I remember, like, sometimes he'll be like, hey, bro, like, uh, did you go to Goodwill? Or, like, I'll post something. He's like, bro, get me that, and I'll, I'll, pay, I'll pay you for it. Like, mm-hmm. I mean, he gave like it cost me five bucks, and he'll give me like thirty bucks. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Which was cool to me, mm-hmm. and uh, that's actually like that broke boy like mm-hmm. shit. Like my first video ever, I shot at that Goodwill. Mm-hmm. You know, oh, so wow. that's 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 what okay. that shit meant. You feel well, me? Well, that's crazy. So that's so shout out to Goodwill. And if you don't know, they the Goodwill be having some stuff. You might yeah. find you some Gucci up in Goodwill. You know what I'm saying? Real. You might find you some. some I mean, I've time. never seen no oh, Gucci man. or no Louis, no. but I mean, like, I got, that, I'm I pretty a, sure it's there somewhere. No, I got a homie that be finding all kinds of. Uh, high quality stuff. Yeah, yeah he probably hit like world. 20 Goodwills in a day. Maybe so, because thrifting is apparently a thing. You know what I'm saying? So you got to be dedicated to do some thrifting. I, and I, I, I just can't do it no more. Why not? I, I, will. I just, I, I'm too tired. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, because you probably got to go to store, to store, to store. Now I just don't even want to go to one store. Oh, <laughs> like, uh, yeah. I don't feel like going shopping at all. So you an online shopper? No, not even. I would say I'm, I'm in splurts. Like, I feel like if I don't feel like doing shit, I don't want to do shit. Mm-hmm. But if I feel like doing it, and it sucks too, because like sometimes other people want to go and I don't want to go. But no, when I want to go, it's like, no, no we got to go. go. We got to go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very <laughs> <laughs> Another double standard right there. <laughs> now, now, 2020, you said this was a humbling year. Now, we're going to speak on the Spotify stats, though. You would end up getting 4.5 million streams, 231 listening hours, um, uh, 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 Lizzie, listen hours, uh, one point. Yeah. Okay. Now you have had over ninety-two countries tuned in to your music, um, but you say this was a humbling year. So yeah. from the outside looking in, somebody can look at that and be like, "This dude is killing it." Yeah. But you're still going through your own personal. Yeah. Well, no, I just like if I felt like the pandemic didn't start and I didn't go through personal things and I was dropping music consistently, consistently, those numbers would have been, you know, bigger. Way bigger. But to yeah. me, that's a that's a lot. Yeah. Four point five million. I guess you're right. I mean, but even like, yeah, I don't, to me, I'm just like, eh. Yeah. Well, eh. You, it's, 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 I, just, it's, I, just my, I just feel like. Is it more, is it more so that you don't care or is it more so that you feel like you haven't done enough? I just feel, I would, I would say I act like I don't care. I definitely care. But uh, it's just, yeah, I guess uh, I, I haven't done enough. Mm. Like to me, I'm not, until I'm able to fucking not stress anything in the world, mm-hmm. until I can literally wear socks one time and throw them away. I'm, I feel like I've accomplished a lot. Dang, he's talking about, he said the socks. He's not talking about outfit. He's just the socks. Just the socks. That, no, that's like a thing in my head. Like, I can't wait to, like, because yeah. I have a thing I've noticed that it's actually like, a, like I fucking love that when I go on a trip, I buy a new pair of like underwear and socks mm-hmm. and I wear them like once throughout this trip. But I'm like, this is the best thing ever. <laughs> like, this is amazing. I mean, you know, it do feel good to go buy a brand new pair yeah. of boxes. I, yeah, I, I'm I don't give a fuck about no Gucci, Louis, nothing. Give me some socks yeah. and some drawers. I'm yeah. happy as fuck, bro. <laughs> hey, that's a good thing. Now, we got to talk about this. Don't try to outdrink this man. Now, on TikTok, <laughs> you got the bottle of wine chug, okay? Um, this was on January 6th, right? He gets a whole bottle of wine and chugs it outside of the store. What's, what's funny is, like, I chug one bottle of wine and a half. And also, oh, you did another one. Yeah, the homie that didn't finish his, I ended up chugging his. Ooh, did you throw up? Nah. 
Oh my goodness. And, and were you going to talk about the Four Locos Oh night? yeah. That actually was the same night. What? Yeah. Wow. He <laughs> had a $2,000 bet on a can of Four Loco. He gets the Four Loco, punches. Why did you punch the hole in it instead of opening the top? Because it's, it's a shotgun. Oh. It's it, I can't I personally I'm not gonna be able to chug that shit normally because all the the fucking the gas and shit you know like it's gonna it's gonna burn you know like okay. my neck the shotgun is boom but it's still a slow shotgun though I was very disappointed in myself wow. but, but yeah. you did it yeah that was actually the second time I did it one time prior to that and I didn't finish it but I still finished it but I didn't shotgun it the whole way bro. Like I stopped and the second time I did it but it was slower wow bro see yeah they're four and if you know about the four local four local is pretty dangerous oh yeah it's pretty some, some real bad stories back then i heard back local. then they were more dangerous i hear now they're they're still not good for you they fucking suck but yeah fucking, yeah that was that like was that bad. was that was a pretty bad drink but for you to knock that back make sure you go to tiktok and see that because that made my stomach hurt i think i was good that night i don't think i did nothing stupid i mean man. was i good Oh, I threw up. Oh, See, okay. he said he didn't throw up. He I don't remember. I blacked out. I <laughs> <laughs> tried to hide that one. Now, uh, now, you would actually sign a publishing deal with Cinematic? Yeah. Is that still current? Uh, Yeah, it is actually. Okay, so what was it like signing that publishing deal? And do you ever speak on anybody that you wrote for? Nah. Okay, okay, gotcha. Yeah. Okay, so how was it being able to sign a deal? Uh, it was cool. Mm-hmm. I mean, it sucked because it happened during the pandemic. So, mm-hmm. like, I just feel like the pandemic took any, like, any like dopeness out of anything like you know it just mm-hmm. felt whack because i'm at the crib i'm i'm wearing like underwear or like i'm wearing shorts and like no socks or sandals and then i'm dressed up up here on a fucking video chat oh, like man, yeah. like yeah let's do this let's <laughs> talk about it the illusion um, yeah the it's, illusion. It's, yeah i don't know it was, it was cool i mean yeah. it was it was dope i mean it's nothing special it's just i don't know yeah. i just feel like the pandemic kind of just ruined it for me because yeah. i feel like it could have been what, what what i did with it like it's more to it. It's more to it. Yeah, no, I understand. The pandemic was definitely, uh, yeah. it slowed a lot of people down, but yeah. a lot of people were able to also yeah, make yeah. a lot of progress. So May 23rd, 2021, this would be, a, was this your first time performing at the halftime show? And this was actually the Phoenix Suns versus the Lakers. Yeah, so bro, the playoff, bro, the playoff game, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah so how did you, okay, so what was it, how do you even get a halftime show? What, how did this even come about? I mean, I'm not going to front, shout out my guy, Dan G. Okay. Um, so we made a song mm-hmm. uh, that, is like his, one of his biggest songs. I'm on the hook, mm-hmm. and it's one of his biggest songs. So he, you know, shout out, shout out to me being yeah, so dope. Know. He had no choice but yeah. to bring me out. Okay. I mean, he had a choice, but yeah. I mean, and he would end up performing the Phoenix Suns uh, anthem after that. Yeah, right? he, he had okay. before. Yeah, he actually already had it. Okay. So he already had that like rally the valley thing, you know, mm-hmm. like which hell yeah, that shit's dope as fuck. Mm-hmm. Like. Fuck anybody that like hates on them and shit for that. Mm-hmm. They're just jealous that they don't have it. You mm-hmm. feel me? That, in my opinion. Yeah. Um, well, he did it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he, he fucking did it. That, you know, yeah. like that shit's dope as fuck. Yeah. But yeah, he had a, so he had to perform two songs. Obviously, he was gonna perform that, mm-hmm. and then the other one he wanted to perform that one with me. So. Mm-hmm. Shout out to well, him, shout bro. out to that, you man. A lot of the time, like they say, it's about it's not about what you know, it's, it's about who you. who you know. Yeah. Now, July 19, 2021, IV Brothers. Now he is with the <laughs> Alabama running back Eddie Lacy. And uh, he <laughs> also went to the Brothers. NFL. And he has the thing in his arm. The IV. And Eddie Lacy is on the couch with the IV in his arm. So what's the relationship like with Eddie Lacy? Uh, and what's what's up with the IV thing? Uh, so uh, it's back to shout out my guy Dan G. Okay, that's actually his homie and shit. Okay. But uh, so we just he just invited me over at it to his crib and me and him. And next thing you know, like me and him just got along. We li- we listened to the same type of music. Mm-hmm. We got like like it's cool because everyone's always like on some turn shit. And me and him were really on some like soulful shit. Really this that like t- chopping it up. Mm-hmm. I guess he was already drinking, I guess, you feel me? Mm-hmm. And uh, so, so when me coming over, we started drinking more and he was drinking more. So we were <laughs> really going bottle, 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 yeah, bottle, yeah. like literally yeah. like four bottles of Don Julio or some shit, you know? Yeah. And he was just tired. So like he t- hits up the IV lady, you feel me? And hits the IV to just uh, recuperate. And you, and you gotta take a shot for that. It's not that bad. I used to donate plasma all the time, so I'm oh, kind of used to it. You feel I me? can't stand the needles, bro. Yeah. I, if I could go without a needle, I definitely would go without a needle. Yeah, right. I can't say I can't stand them when I'm like tatted up and shit. So. Oh, I mean, but that's different because yeah. that's going on your skin. No, I feel like that, but that's just like a one-time thing, just a boom, and you're good. This is more of like a. I mm, wish I could look at it like that because mm, I, I can't. I can't look at it like uh, that. <laughs> now, July fifteenth. Shout out to Boosie. Um, you, you would celebrate your 10th day sober with Boosie. 10th day sober. <laughs> and he would say, 
He would go on to say, let me look at your curls. He would say that your curls are looking a little different. Okay, yeah. so what was it like being in the same place with Boosie and, and how did that day go? I mean, it was cool. I mean, I don't really don't think of it as like, how was it? It was just another day. Mm -hmm. That's, I never know what the fuck I'm doing. Like, like two days ago, I was uh, in the studio fucking uh, Coda the Friend and fucking King Mez mm -hmm. was, was in there and shit and like, I didn't think nothing of it. Mm -hmm. I just think of it as any other day. Mm -hmm. It's just cool. I mean, obviously, it was. I was more like, damn, this, why is this fool touching my head? <laughs> like, like, that one was like, really yeah. fucking yeah. with it. I was like, oh, shit. Yeah, dog, something wrong with your hair, dog. So I see something wrong with your So, 10 days sober, huh? That was a big deal for you. I think that was as far as I reached, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> That's what, okay. So, why was 10 days the day that, that why was that the day? Did I mean, you, did you just, like it, immediately drink after? Or did you drink like the next day? I, I, don't, I don't know, bro. I fucking go through splurts. Yeah, uh, I don't know, it was just a 10 day and I probably didn't drink maybe for two days later or three days later, who knows? I don't really remember. It's not, if it was like a month or two, yeah. I could probably be like, oh, you know Okay, why? so the big question is why weren't you able to do anything during that 10 day? I mean, uh, it's, it's kind of like sometimes it's like, why can't people go a day without smoking? Okay. You feel me? Okay. Or like, why okay. do they gotta smoke? Yeah. I'm the I same way. That. Like, yeah. not, I don't have to drink, but I wanna drink. Like, I need, like, I don't wanna say I need a drink, yeah. but. I fucking need it. I yeah. want it. Like, <laughs> I want the drink. Like, that. You know, that's, that's just that. my that's just my thing. Like, yeah. it sucks, but I don't I don't smoke anymore. I don't do any. Um, you see, you're a real one. You're a real one. My my friend, my friends, my, my guys like I'm like you're like I'm like he's talking about cocaine. What's he talking about? Like what? Nah, I got you, buddy. I got you. So September 14th, 2021, you were signed with Empire yeah. until the day would come would come out two days later. Now, shout out to Real 92.3, DJ Head and Chuck Dizzle. Shout out to Power 983 True. and Live 1015 Phoenix Radio. I hope I didn't butcher y'all. Uh, I think 101.5. Okay, 101.5. Now, when you were signed this deal with Empire, it, it, was it just like a regular thing yeah. to you? Okay. I, it's so weird. Like, yeah. I be thinking about it, bro. Like, uh, me and Jay be having these convos where like, I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Like, oh, I just did this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's <laughs> cool. Like, it's just right. like you want to go get some fun or like, yeah. what are we doing? Where are we eating at? Yeah. And then you know, I'm I'm more excited about what I'm eating that night than what the fuck I just did. Okay. And to other people, they're like, holy shit. Like, yeah. I don't know. Just in my head, I just like I said, I don't know why. I just I, maybe I haven't like I was cool, but. So what I signed it. That doesn't mm -hmm. mean shit though. Do you have do you have a hard time um, congratulating yourself? Uh, yes and no. I would say it just depends. When I'm drunk, I'm the best in the world. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking awesome. <laughs> like, yeah. You feel yeah. me? No, there's times where I feel like that. It's just I just like I would say also it has to do a lot with the people I'm around. Mm -hmm. and, like you know, like I used to be around head a lot. Mm -hmm. You know, when Kev worked uh, with with him and shit. Mm -hmm. Like I used to be in the studio with them all the time. Mm -hmm. Kev too. Like I see how hard these guys work. And it's like, oh, okay, cool, mm -hmm. but there's still more work to do. Like, Fetch. that's how I feel. I'm like, all right, cool. I haven't made it. Mm -hmm. Like, what the fuck? I'm not, I'm not out here selling out stadiums. I'm not out here. People, I'm not fucking, I'm not top 40 on the charts. I'm not nothing. Like, mm -hmm. hella people sign deals every day. Mm -hmm. Don't mean shit. Like, you but know? you on your way. Yeah, yeah, I'm on my way. But that's yeah, how I feel. Yeah. Like, I'm like, cool. Yeah. Let, me just, let me just, nah, I got to keep sure I'm, you know, I'm mm -hmm. putting my, my. I put in my time. Right yeah, now. that's right. Well, you paying you paying your dues. Yeah. Um, now you know making the Spotify cover in uh, that's crazy. in, in uh, October fifth, twenty twenty one, and they titled it "The Wave of U.S. Latinos." Hey. So when you would make that Spotify cover, did that mean anything to you, or what did that mean? Uh, I mean, I really didn't think much of it. <laughs> to me, it was just like, oh, okay, cool. Mm -hmm. You know, which I hate that I say that shit, but that's really genuinely how it's like. Well, you got some real accomplishments. Yeah, it's, I don't know what the fuck it is, but it's, it's true. Like, I like really be sitting there. I'm like, oh, I got to post this. Cover. Like, <laughs> I fuck. Post I, I, I got to ah, I gotta post this cover. Fuck. Yeah. Like, I'm stressed. Like, I'm like, oh, shit. Like, I mean, no, it's, it's dope as fuck. Don't get me wrong. It's a big accomplishment. It's dope. And I'm fucking thankful as fuck. But I, mm -hmm. I guess to me, it's just like, all right, cool. Like. Mm -hmm. How do I stay on here? That's right. I gotta stay on here. How do you stay relevant? Like, like, cool. I got the cover for now. Someone else is gonna have it next week. Mm. Damn. You know. I mean, I understand, but I feel like you shouldn't think like. I, that I mean, I shouldn't. I shouldn't. I shouldn't. You're yeah, right. Yeah. But I mean, that's. I feel also how I've gotten to where I've gotten. Mm -hmm. You know, I've always thought like, cool, like, bro. I, I could have. I, I personally feel I'm more talented than a lot of people. Okay. But I, I you know, but it's. I had some nowadays. I see people outwork me though. I definitely see it. Like, mm -hmm. motherfuckers definitely like. 
do all kinds of shit. And it's just definitely the hard work. I just got to keep working. So what if, what, okay, when you say you see him outwork you, what is in what way? Not outwork me, but I would say, like, motherfuckers in the studio a lot more than me, mm-hmm. you know? And, like, sometimes I think, like, fuck, like, I got to get back to that. But what's stopping you? Uh, it's just, I, like, it's just different now. I don't know. Nothing's really stopping me. I just, just tired. Mm. I don't want to be in the fucking, like, I'm not trying to fucking be in the studio all night anymore. I don't want to be in there till five, six in the morning. Mm-hmm. You know, like, con- like I'll, be, I'll do it once a week, twice a week. But I don't want to fucking do it every fucking day. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm tired, bro. Like, mm-hmm. I, it's, it's just a lot. It's cool. And mm-hmm. it's, but also, too, like, I'm, like, at a different place now where, like, uh, I just want to wanna work with different people, too, this, this, and that, you know? It just, you know? So you kind of want to broaden your situation in another way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I get you. I get you. Yeah, bro. like, producer-wise and this yeah. and that. Sometimes, also, you're like, all right, cool, we've done this. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. like, I want to, like, you know, I'm not as excited as I am anymore. Stuff just got too regular for you, too yeah. fast. <laughs> no, I want to say regular. It just got I want to say regular. That's not, it's not. It, it, yeah. seemed, it seemed like it, bro. Goodness yeah. gracious, man. But, but I ain't know, nobody, though. Yeah. Like, you feel me? That's how I feel. Well, like, you, still, so, yeah. you are somebody, bro. Yeah, and okay. You, you got to believe that. But you know what? Yeah. Kanye West mom said, um, when a giant looks in the mirror, he sees nothing. Oh, true. And that's deep. You know, when you think about it, like, we see a giant, we're like, oh my god, he's a giant. But to a giant, he's just living his regular life. Oh, that's real. You know what I'm saying? It's so real. that's how I kind of had to, kind of kind of had to take that. Um, now, let's talk more about um, T-Pain. What's a memory that you would have <laughs> working with T-Pain? Um, uh, I know you said that somebody was upset that somebody ate their taco or something like that during the video. Oh, shoot. no, 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 no. So, during the video shoot, uh... Yeah. We got food and like one of the model chicks, like I guess she's vegan or some shit. I honestly don't remember this at all. I just remember people telling me this the next day, mm-hmm. you know, cause mm-hmm. I was, I was gone. Mm-hmm. I don't He's remember it. I wish I could remember that night more. That's a nice video too. So make sure y'all tune uh, into that appreciate video. Appreciate that. Yeah. So uh, I just remember, I guess this girl was vegan and there was one vegan pizza mm-hmm. and Kev actually ate the pizza, oh. but she blamed my homie <laughs> daily. <laughs> She blamed my homie daily and was oh, like, didn't say was like, you made my fucking pizza. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. I guess from what I heard. And Kev didn't no, say No, Kev didn't say shit. Kev <laughs> was probably in the back like, <laughs> <laughs> like. But yeah, my homie daily, I guess, like, was the one that uh, catching the storm from it or whatever the fuck, mm-hmm. the backlash. And uh, so, yeah, that's what happened that night. Like, mm-hmm. you know. So, yeah. That's funny. Okay, so what's something that, that you remember with T-Pain? Like, what's a memory that you remember uh, that? Well, it's like a two-parter, okay. I would say. I would yeah. say I remember... So to me, like, it's crazy to think, but T-Pain's, like, in my top three of all time. For sure. Because, like, when I didn't know English, I would hear T-Pain on the radio. Mm-hmm. Like, to me, like, I was like, oh, shit, this guy's dope as fuck. And mm-hmm. back then, T-Pain was on the radio for every fucking song. Facts. So um, I just remember going to his show, seeing him live. Mm-hmm. I low-key, like, it sounds weird, but I low-key shed, like, a, like a slight tear. Because mm-hmm. I'm like, bro, this dude's, like, dope as fuck. Mm-hmm. Like, what the fuck? Like, I'm right here, like, on the side of the stage watching him, like... Mm-hmm. Killing it. Like, I just remember, like, every time, like, hands go up and seeing the whole crowd put their hands up and he just rocked it. And I was just like, like, I felt that. Like, I don't know. It was like the weirdest shit in the fucking world. And then next thing you know, I'm shooting a video with him and shit. Like, so how did, did, did you, were you aware that T Pain was gonna be on a song? How did, like, uh, it's just, uh, so my manager just was like, yo, T, let's, you know, I'm sending T Pain. Yeah. And if he fucks with he fucks with it or some shit like that. Straight like that. And hopped on it and, Went to, we flew to Atlanta, you yeah. feel me? Because the pandemic and yeah. shit, so I don't think he was trying to leave the crib or nothing. Yeah. Flew to Atlanta, we did the song. It was crazy. Less, the only thing I remember was uh, I dance battled him, I guess, or some shit like you that. You dance battled him? I tried. I tried to moonwalk and I fell. Oh. I was on the ground and everything. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I got super drunk. Well, I wish, I wish I could take that back. I feel bad. Why? I feel sloppy. Where, you know? Were you, were you like, were you, were you, okay, so you were a little well, embarrassed. Well, like to me, I'm just like, I don't know if I gave the right impression that uh, I should have. Like, this is the first time me and him interacted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, fu- I'm fucking on the yeah. floor drunk. Like, right. what? Not the best. Yeah, that's wild. Yeah. Well, that's wild. Well, that actually um, sounds crazy. Yeah, yeah. I feel, I feel, I feel. Yeah. <laughs> but, but you know, I, I think we go through there too. Like, yeah. when, when you start hanging around these crowd of people, it's kind of yeah. like, okay, I don't want to do nothing weird. Yeah. I don't want to, you know what I'm yeah, saying? It's very, it's very crazy because, like, I, I don't know if I built it in my head where like, I got to think, I need a shot or two yeah. before I go out because I'm going to be nervous. I'm going to be shy. Yeah. But I'm not a shy person. Like, once yeah. I get to know you i'm i'm outgoing i'm pretty dope like you know but uh but it's weird because it's like i have to reach a common ground where it's like all right take a shot or two don't get too crazy but like uh 
but <laughs> but don't fucking be out here 12, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 shots in, right. and you're over here looking like a fool screaming yeah. at good smoke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a fact. I understand that. Now, <laughs> then you would get on the song with Wiz Khalifa yeah. and Cap G. Yeah. Did you, and Rob Chico was a song you didn't really care for. Yeah, right? I fucking hated it. Okay, so what was wrong with it? I just don't, I, I don't like it. It's, it's this, it was the same with Until the Day, which is crazy. Like, that's not the type of music I like making. Like, I like fucking, I like making like acoustic shit. I like sitting down. I like, I don't want to say I like sad music, but like, I fucking love Adele. I love country music. I like shit with meaning. I like shit with substance. You know, that's the shit I like. And it's not, I'm not saying Chico and Until the Day don't have, doesn't have substance. But what the fuck am I saying? I ain't saying shit. Like, I like, you feel me? Like, you know, like. Fuck in the photo booth. Yeah. Oh my god. You know, like, <laughs> like oh I just, god. They just don't hit me. Like as in like on that Saty freestyle, it's like you bring the alcohol, I'll bring the bad decisions. Yeah, that was I got mixed vibe. drinks about my yeah. feelings. Like yeah. I like, oh my god, I just fucking said that. Mm. Like holy shit. Like I get I get hyped off my lyrics, like, oh my god, I can't believe I just and I'm like, I just thought of that shit effortlessly. What the fuck? You know, like <laughs> too easy. I feel that. So um you would actually be able to judge a dunk contest. Yeah. December 7th, 2021. Yeah. Um, how was that experience for you? I was uh, tiring because before then I actually did a festival. Like I did a festival. Yeah, with Cap G, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. I brought the, out, the, yeah. Um, the, uh, the, the Fuel Fest. The Fuel Fest, yeah, yeah okay, yeah. okay. Tyrese yeah. and Vin Diesel were there. Really? Okay. I didn't. I, I saw him for two seconds. And I was. was in, I was. I was mad. I was throwing white claws at the wall. Oh man, you know what? I I met. Well, not met him, but I was on the Snoop Dogg All Star team when I was a little kid. Okay. And Vin Diesel came and spoke to us when we were in Miami. Did he and, say? Did he say family's everything? I don't know, but <laughs> all I remember was. You guys are out there killing the game. Bro, you, like, sound, you, 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 don't, you don't sound like Vin Diesel at all. Bro, you sound you like could, some fucking bro, country you could ass barely, You could barely really understand what he was saying because his voice is so deep, bro. It was like crazy deep. So now you've accomplished a lot of things, yeah. okay? And, and, you know, I hope that you can appreciate it. Yeah, yeah I, I do. I, 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 don't, I, I hate that. I don't want to seem like I'm like a guy like, oh, it's not like, you know. See, I don't think it's yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I think it's a mixture of you feel like you haven't done enough. It's yeah. just a mixture of you needing more. And yeah. I think that's all it is. Yeah. And that's perfectly fine because there's a lot of people who can relate to that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But when you think about everything that you've been through in your life, what is it that Alexis can clap it up for uh, when you, where you stand in today? They haven't had a job in seven years, eight years now, mm. six years, seven Beautiful. years. I don't remember how many years it's been. I haven't had a job in that, that long. I think so that shit's dope. Years. The fact that, like, uh, you, you know. You can wake up whenever you want to. Yeah, uh, you know, fucking shout out to the people around me. You feel mm -hmm. me? That bless me enough to just be able to wake up whatever time I want to, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I would say that's, like, the thing the most. Like, I don't have to fucking, like, oh, fuck, I got to go to work. Like, I don't have to do that anymore. Thank yeah, God. Yeah. You feel me? I can understand that, man, especially having to listen to people you don't want to listen to on yeah. a daily basis. So if it was something that you could manifest, whether it needs to happen this year or yeah. in the next 10 years, I want you to take a moment to manifest something yeah. right now. Oh, you want me to say it? Yeah, bro. Uh, I mean, I pretty much want the same thing for everyone around me, not to feel how I, like, to feel how I feel, yeah. do whatever the fuck you want to do. Like, yeah. I think to me... I would say, I guess the reason I don't feel I've accomplished enough is because I want everyone around me to fucking not benefit, but like feel those accomplishments too. Like mm -hmm. not have to fucking wake up all the time or not work. Like I want to be able to be like, I got you. Don't stress it. Mm -hmm. I like, that's, that's what I want. That's what I fucking want. Like for my mom, my brother, feel me, my girl, like anything. Like I just want to be like, who cares? You I know? understand that. I understand that. One of my main goals is to make sure my fiance can retire early. Yeah, like you I, I think that's what it is. Cause like you feel yeah. me? Like especially seeing, you know, like people like work so fucking hard, and yeah. I'm just there like, I ain't doing shit. Mm -hmm. Like there, cause there's days where I don't do shit, mm -hmm. you know, and like. Sometimes I feel guilty because I'm just going to make music and I get drunk there mm -hmm. and I'm fucking, you know, and like, mm -hmm. it's so different than being on your feet all fucking day and stressed nice. and having a boss and shit, nice. you know? Like, I technically don't have a boss, you know? Mm -hmm. So it's hella fucking cool. Well, I mean, you shouldn't feel guilty because you've earned it, you know? And that's how I look at everything. You know? Yeah, I would say I've earned it, but like, I mean, like I said, I, I'm thankful for the people around me that grant me that. That's right. I would, I would say like, it's, it's not just me though. like. I feel like I have earned it, but I definitely could. I can definitely do more too. Mm -hmm. You feel me? If I wanted to, but 
thanks for, I'm thankful for everybody around me that lets me do that. You feel that's me? right. That's right. Well, you know, people, the people you surround yourself with open the doors for you. Like they say, your net worth is your net worth. So True. understand your circle is a big part of your success. So it's your boy Jay Brock, my guy Alexis wrote it. We just chopped big game on Clap Aye. It Up LA. <laughs> Dude is crazy. <laughs> Appreciate you pulling up, buddy. Yes, yes, sir.